Senator Johnson. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise today to shine a little light on some of what's been happening in the city of Highland Park with her school district. And I think the question is appropriate, Mr. President, at what point is an honest conversation really an honest conversation? Last week, this entire body, along with the House and leadership on both sides, including the governor's office, we wrangled with the idea or the notion that a pay less payday could in fact be the ultimate demise of the district and that the kids would be displaced in the city of Highland Park School District. Meeting after meeting, conversation after conversation yielded what many of us thought was a simple approach to maintain the buildings that the young people have an opportunity to go to every day and learn, and with those buildings, the teachers that they expect to be in those classrooms. Yesterday, or the day before, there was a letter sent out by the administration's office indicating to parents that a new law had been passed and that they were free as parents to explore the opportunity of going to neighboring districts and seeing the money that was then appropriated to follow those students to those neighboring districts, all under the guise of maintaining some semblance of continuity in education for these young people which in essence flies in the face of the question I posed to the administration, which was very simple. Does the administration seek an end to a closing of, or is the financial manager that was appointed in Highland Park set to funeralize the city school district? On each occasion, the answer that I got was no. Yet the tenor of the letter and the tone of what's happening now in the city of, city of Highland Park's school district is really just the opposite. We were told that best efforts would be made to see to it that teachers were paid by about Tuesday. That won't happen until tomorrow, but that's not the curious piece of it. When I specifically posed a question about whether or not the teachers would be paid and could be paid through the city school district, I was vehemently told over and over that there was not going to be any more money forwarded as an advance to that school district because of their gross mismanagement, which I continue to outline as a simple component of a larger issue that this state has ignored called disinvestment. Only to read in the papers in the last 24 hours that money is in fact going to be advanced to the school district and that that is the way that payroll will be made and that that money as advanced would not be sucked up by other debts and deficits that the school district is under, but that that money would go to support those teachers and would be therefore earmarked. It begs to question, Mr. President, at what point do Democrats get an honest answer to questions that we ask in open forum when at some point we happen to be in those forums by the majority party? Time after time, Democrats continue to be vilified when deals change along the way and somehow we find ourselves in a position of having to back out. Well, I'll end here. Petition signatures have been filed that it will in fact stay this law. I implore this body to begin deliberating in tandem with Democrats and the local officials that will be most affected a new law that will provide a clear and convincing roadmap back to solvency on the part of these school districts and cities that wrestle with this issue. Thank you for your time, and I respectfully ask that my comments be printed in today's journal.